The odds of asteroid Bennu slamming Earth increased, but still a slim chance of its impacting our planet. This is by Marsha Don Yahoo News. The good news is that scientists have a better handle on asteroid Bennu's whereabouts for the next 200 years. The bad news is that this space rock has a slightly greater chance of impacting our Earth than previously thought. But we should not be alarmed. Scientists reported Wednesday that the odds are still quite low that Bennu will hit us in the next century, impact us, that is. Quote, we should not be worried about it too much, end quote, said David Farnoccia, scientist with NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, and he served as the study's lead author. While the odds of a strike have risen from 1 in 2,700, they've gone to 1 in 1,750 over the next century or two, scientists now have a much better idea of Bennu's path thanks to NASA's Osiris-Rex spacecraft, according to Fenocia. He said, so I think that overall the situation has improved. The spacecraft is heading back to Earth now after it took a sample of the asteroid roundabout loop after collecting samples from the large spinning rubble pile that we uh, call asteroid Bennu, considered one of the two most hazardous known asteroids in our solar system. The samples are due to arrive here in 2023. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Before the Osiris-Rex arrived at Bennu in 2018, telescopes provided solid insight into the asteroid about one-third of a mile, or that's one-half kilometer in diameter, so it's pretty big. The spacecraft collected enough data over two and a half years to help scientists better predict the asteroid's orbital path well into the future. Their findings, published in the journal Icarus, should also help in charting the course of other asteroids and give Earth a better fighting chance if and when another has as hazardous space rock heads our way for, for impact, of course. Now, Bennu will have a close encounter with our Earth in 2135 when it passes within a half distance of our Moon. Earth's gravity could tweak its future path, thus pulling it on a collision course with Earth in the 2200s, less likely now based on a series of Rex observations. If Bennu did slam into our Earth, it would not wipe out life, dinosaur style, but rather create a crater roughly 10 to 20 times the size of the asteroid, said Lynn Lee Johnson, NASA's planetary defense officer. The area of devastation would be much bigger, as much as 100 times the size of the crater. If an object Bennu size hit the eastern seaboard of the United States, Quote, it would pretty much devastate things up and down the coast, he said. Scientists already are ahead of the curve with Bennu, which was discovered in 1999. Finding threatening asteroids in advance increases the chances and options for pushing them out of our way, Johnson said. He said 100 years from now, who knows what the technology is going to be. In other words, to protect us and our Earth and life on Earth from such an impact. In November, NASA plans to launch a mission to knock an asteroid off, of course, by impacting it. The experimental target would be the moonlet of the bigger space rock. Um, now, okay, uh, let's remember that we have had scars on Earth from asteroid and celestial body impacts, the same thing on Mars and on the moon, and um, hopefully, hopefully that will not happen. This is on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.